technology applied to the aesthetics. Computers will invade the arts, just as they do every other part of our lives. In the future, artists may have to learn new skills of mathematics, mechanics, engineering, and programming in order to practice their craft. I've energized a relay here, and this is, this, this is the bank of amplifiers that drive the servo motors of the system. In, including the computer which created the Stargate corridor in the film 2001 was developed by the man behind these glasses, John Whitney. His three sons and his brother James have all used his machines to make computer films. The Whitneys are not inhibited by the specter of giant computer companies. They build their own. They're hardly to be called computers because they're, they're really specialized problem solvers. They were computers that were designed to compute only on one kind of an equation. For many years, I had been doing uh, straight animation using the hand drawing techniques or uh, primitive forms of manipulation of, of artwork in one way or another. Some of the things that Norman McLaren has done, in fact, uh, I've drawn on directly on film. and. Um, uh, but it was only in the, in the mid-50s when I began to see these devices that uh, it became clear that there were great possibilities for uh, developing animation machines that would uh, manipulate design in ways that could never be done by hand. I was drawing almost a perfect circle here now. Many cycles later, it might be drawing a, a straight line path. The fact that it's putting this kind of motion as a series of images on one motion picture frame at a time means that it gets on the screen in quite a different way than it is here. Uh, the fact that this is a circle pattern does not mean that the, that the image generated by this pattern uh, will be a circle on the screen. It'll be some sort of a complex overlay pattern of a whole series of circles or some sort of a flowing halftone pattern, possibly. I'm also working with the modern digital computer systems through the, my research grant from IBM. And there, I am using a completely electrical, solid state, uh, electronic system, which involves no mechanical moving parts to speak of. And there, I get to the, the heart of the problem. There are mathematical equations that generate very, very elegant images, very, very elegant designs.